everyone, it's Michaela. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. It's the exact same one that I had in my previous video, my um, Boohoo Boohoo and Forever 21 clothing haul. Um, so if you would like to see this look, this video is for you. And uh, I'm going to apologize for all the bumps and texture on my face. Ever since I moved to California, my face has been freaking out. I don't know if they're like allergy bumps or what, but if they don't go away soon, I will go into the dermatologist, but try to ignore that and just enjoy the video. Um, there's a little bit of technical difficulties during it, but hopefully you can still get the main idea anyway. Uh, this is my first makeup tutorial and I'm still getting used to this whole YouTube thing. Um, thank you for watching and if you've subscribed, thank you and if you feel so inclined, watch my last video and hit that like and subscribe button and continue to stay updated with me. Um, thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so hi guys. Um, I'm going to be starting by priming my lid with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. I've already did one of my eyes if you can't tell, but I was just trying to get the feel of how um, the camera picks out, picks up my eyeshadow because my camera died, so I wasn't actually able to use that. I was using my phone. My next step is setting it, setting the concealer with a translucent powder, and I kind of put a lot on, so I was us using the translucent powder and blending it out up until my brow bone to kind of get that highlighted look under without actually putting any light or concealer all the way up. Okay, so I'm going to apologize for like the next, I don't know, minute or so. You're not going to be able to actually see what I'm showing you because I don't know what I'm doing apparently. But what I'm doing here is taking the color Madagascar in the Juvia to Place palette and applying that all over my crease. But then I realized that you can't really see it, so I grabbed um, my Tarlet and Bloom palette and used the darker shade. I'm not really sure name of it but you can really use any dark brown eyeshadow and I use that to intensify the crease and I'm just blending that out slowly so that it can um, just make my crease look more defined and that color that I use in the Tartlet and Bloom palette is actually called Activist and here I'm dancing because I'm actually listening to music at the time but the next thing that I do is I take the color Morocco in the Juvia's Place palette, which again you can't see, but I'm going to um, try to add a split screen with the actual palette. But I take that on a fluffy brush and I add it right above my crease, very lightly. Um, I was trying to show that I was holding the very end of the brush, which is a trick I learned from Glam Life Guru, I think. But Or maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But anyways, if you hold the end of the brush, it makes it more subtle and then it gives it more of that like bl blended faded look going up into your brow bone so I continue to lightly pack that on so I can build up the color that I, color that I want without it looking too intense and then I take the color Kenya and apply that to my outer corner and just pack that on and then at some point I realize that I'm not in focus and I start to film again and I actually point to it but I take that and put it and continue to pack it on my outer corner and then um, pack it on my inner corner as well with a, fluff, with a fluffy brush and I'm just packing it on to intensify And then I take the color Yaw, and I'm going to put that um, just on a random brush that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. But I take it and put it on the middle of my lid. And then I realize that it's not as intense as I wanted it to be, which I already knew it wasn't going to be. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place, but I take MAC Fix Plus and I put it on my brush and then put it on my lid. You can also do this with any setting powder, I mean setting spray or um, just plain water but don't get it too moist because then it'll kind of take off the shadow but it kind of just intensifies it um, and makes it a little bit more metallic looking. I also went back in with Kenya on a fluffy brush and intensified the inner and outer corners of my lid to make it um, stand out more and I blended it out a little bit to get rid of the harsh line. My next step is taking Nefertiti 
I think, and putting it on my inner corners to highlight on a pencil brush from Morphe. And then I start looking for my eyeliner. The eyeliner that I will be using is the gel liner from Morphe, which I never hear anybody talk about, but I love it. It's one of my favorite. It's in the color Slate, which is just a deep black. It's really creamy and so easy to use. And then I just apply, well, my plan is to apply a thin black line. No, like, wing or anything. I know pulling your eye to put your eyeliner on is probably isn't good for my skin, but I don't, I can't put it on any other way. I've tried and it just comes out horrible, so... This is how I do it. And here's me covering my face with my Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette to look into as a mirror. I keep doing this throughout the whole video, like I forget that I'm filming or something, but I slowly do realize that I'm blocking my face, which is the main point of this video anyway. And there it goes again. Good job, Michaela. And then off camera after this, I'm going to apply my lashes. They are the Dummy Wispies by Ardell. That looked really quick, but that took me a good 15 minutes to put on. I, I stuck at it. That's why I didn't do it on camera. But then I'm going to be using the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and applying that on my lashes to make them blend a little bit better. And I do brush them down a little bit because sometimes they just stick up and I don't like how they look. Also, just because I suck at putting them on, they don't look right all the time. But today they looked pretty okay. I'm more of a mascara girl. I like to pile on three different mascaras until my lashes look fake. But then I take the ColourPop, ColourPop, ColourPop eyeliner in Honey Dude and apply that on my waterline just to make my eyes look more open and awake and my face completely out of focus for the next couple minutes you can only see the top of my face and not my chin so I'm really sorry about that and now I'm going to prime my face using both the Too Faced Hangover RX and the Smashbox primer and then I'm just massaging the Too Faced Hangover RX into my skin and waiting until it gets tacky. This is probably my all-time favorite primer because I do have dry spots, but then as you can see, my T-zone is very oily. So then I put the Smashbox primer um, on my lid and my nose, my lid, my forehead and my nose, and then I kind of press it into um, around my nose area. I don't know what that's called. Your cheeks? I don't even know. But then I pat my face just to make sure it's not so oily. And then for my foundation, I mix two foundations. The first one is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in Mahogany. And the next one is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Dark 4 Cartoon. I do this because one is a little bit light and the other one is my color but it pulls off a little bit red um, and I feel like with just the NARS it makes me really oily even though I tend to have dry skin and then the Becca one I like the texture but it's just a little bit light in my opinion so when I mix them it comes out perfect though at least to me and I do that with a damp beauty blender all over my face it's my favorite way to apply foundation And both of these together have a pretty full coverage. I rarely see any of my blemishes peek through them. And then I'm looking for my favorite concealer, the Naked Skin Concealer in Dark Warm. And I use this for highlighting. I put it under my eyes. And on, and on the cupid's bow area, 
also down my nose and on my forehead. And then I'm going to blend this out after I finish applying it. Oh, also on my chin. Right. And I end up putting a little bit too much, but it'll be fine, you'll see. Then I use a damp beauty blender. It's the Morphe one, which I love so much for my underlying concealer. Thank you, Jaclyn Hill. And it's really cheap. To me, it's almost as good as a beauty blender for under eye, especially. And it's like six six ninety nine or something, and the beauty blender is like twenty. So, good deal, good deal. And as you can see, as I'm blending out my forehead, I put way too much on my forehead. It looks like a big circle. But, yeah, it doesn't stay like that. I kind of blend it out using my beauty blender that I used to apply my foundation in the first place. And it looks better. You'll see. And then I mix both the Airspun translucent powder and the Ben Nye powder in Topaz. And I use that to bake underneath my eye with a damp real technique sponge I have a lot of different sponges and I like them all for different things I also blend a lot of things so that it looks right on my skin tone because the translucent powder by itself is not translucent it pulls it has like a white cast on my face and then the topaz powder looks kind of too orangey for me so when I mix them it comes out how I like it and then I use the Morphe R3, I think it is. No, R2. And I my Anastasia contour kit in the darkest color. I'm not really sure what it's called. And I use that to kind of contour, kind of bronze up more. Not really contour. Around my temple and on my cheekbones. I love this brush, by the way. It's so soft and fluffy. And then I use the same brush to dust off the excess powder from baking. It looks a little white right now, but by the end it won't like, look like that. Especially for this next step that I'm about to do. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I put that all over my face, over the baking and over the bronzy contour that I did. Kind of just to pull it all together make it look blended. And I take my Tarte Lid and Bloom palette and use that same color that I used before, but I use it to on a small fluffy brush to contour and sharpen up my cheekbones. You can use whatever darker color you want. I just can't find a contour powder dark enough, so I use dark colored eyeshadow, and it works pretty well. Gotta work with what, what you got. My next step is taking the Milani Rose blush in Coral Cove on a Morphe brush. This is the E34 and I put that on my cheeks. I'm not a big fan of intense um, blush so I use a little bit at a time and just build it up until I like it. I don't want to go out looking like a clown. And then I use my Jaclyn Hill and Becca face palette, which you can't really see, but I use a mixture of both Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop, mostly Prosecco Pop, and then I kind of use Champagne Pop on the very end just to make that part stand out a little bit more, since so Champagne Pop is a little bit lighter than Prosecco Pop, and I put that on my cupid's bowl as well. I'm using a Morphe fan brush using a lot of Morphe products. And that's also a Morphe fluffy brush that I'm using to apply. And then I ended up putting it a little bit too far up, so that's why I'm blending that out with a beauty blender. And then I'm using the color Jezebel in the Nubian 2 palette and applying that a little bit of that right under my waterline on my lower lash line. Just add a little bit of color underneath there. It's looking kind of bare.
And then this is the Kaiser Lip Kit in the color Love Bite. And then I realized that this wasn't sharpened enough, so I sharpened it off camera. But how I use her lip kit is I put it all over my lips, the lip liner all over my lips first. And then I apply the liquid lipstick. Again, I really like her products, especially her lip liner. It's so creamy and it stays on for a really long time. I think I ended up wearing this makeup for about nine hours and it was still mostly on by the end of it. And then I apply Fix Plus all over my face and then the NYX matte finish, which is my lifesaver. And I douse myself in that. And while that is drying, I apply the actual lipstick. And I clean up the edges because it always bleeds out and makes my lips look weird. And I'm using the Benefit They're Real, actually no, just kidding, Benefit Roller Lash Mascara for my bottom lashes. And then for this I got it like all over the under part of my eye because of a mess. Why am I even making YouTube videos, honestly? Who knows? See? Yeah. And then I'd take a Q-tip just to clean that up real quick. Again, covering my eye with the mirror. Good job. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully next time I will have my camera so it'll be a little bit better quality. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and comment, and I'll see you next time, hopefully. Bye!